Welcome to this video. My name is Phil and I am a senior lecturer in astrophysics at the University of Lincoln and I wanted to introduce what a micro new moon is and also when will they occur in 2024. Now by the time this video comes out we have likely going to have missed some of them but this will discuss any remaining ones that may be available in 2024. So before we look at what is a micro moon let's just recap the lunar cycle. So the lunar cycle is the phase we see the moon from earth and it depends on the moon earth sun orientation basically because the moon goes around the earth the earth goes around the sun and it gets different illumination phases so from new moon to full moon and anything in between due to that basically it takes around about 29.5 days to go through one full lunar cycle that's not necessarily the same as the orbital period of the moon and the reason for that is we have the synodic and sidereal periods which i've done a separate video on but basically because the earth is going around the sun at the same time the moon has to go round slightly further on its orbit to get to the same phase. And that's known as these sidereal and synodic periods, which again, we covered in a different video. So anyway, it takes 29.5 days for one lunar cycle. Now the full moon occurs on the opposite side of Earth to the sun. And the reason for that is we have to see the sunlight reflecting off it. So the face of the moon that faces towards the sun is the one that we see illuminated. So when it's on the opposite side of Earth, that's when you're going to get your full moon here. A new moon occurs on the opposite side because the face of the moon that's facing towards the Earth at this point is not illuminated by the sun. So we see that as a new moon, and that's always between the Earth and the sun. So it always occurs there. So we've got the new moon and the full moon. Now, the moon's orbit is elliptical. That means that as it goes around the Earth, the distance between the moon and the Earth changes. So that is actually what's going to lead us to having micro moons and super moons, because when it's closer, it's going to appear slightly larger in the sky, and when it's further away, it's going to appear slightly smaller. Now, the closest approach or the closest distance to Earth of the moon is known as the perigee. Can also, it depends on uh, what system you're referring to, but it could also be referred to as like the pericenter of the orbit as well. And that's when they're closest, basically. On the opposite side, when they're further away, that would be the apogee or the, uh, the apocenter, things like that. That's the furthest distance between the moon and the Earth. Now, the moon is, as it's orbiting on its elliptical orbit, is also... Well, it's, on, it's going around the Earth, but the Earth is also orbiting the Sun. Now, because the Moon is orbiting on an elliptical orbit, and the Earth is also moving as well, it means that the lunar phase changes at different parts. So when it's closer and further away, it's not always the same phase, because it kind of falls out of alignment, basically. So as the Earth is orbiting the Sun, these lunar phases change when it's at the perigee or the apogee doesn't matter which one but it will change throughout its orbit which means the lunar phases are not always when it's at the closest or the furthest apart they'll always change so the remaining micro moon is going to occur on the 2nd of october 2024 and it's a micro new moon which means that it occurs the furthest away so micro moons occur when the moon is furthest away from the earth and it basically means that this new moon is going to occur at the apogee here so furthest away it's then known as a micro new moon so this new moon will appear one of the smallest ones that we'll get in 2024 so thank you for watching and if you have any comments about this then just leave them in the comment section below